Today, we will tackle about representations of rational function in real-life situations. Now, let us consider the following function, which are rational function and which are not. Question number one, f of x is equal to 5 over x, rational function or not? Very good, that is a rational function. Because both numerator and denominator are polynomials, and denominator is not equal to zero. Question number two. f of x is equal to x cubed plus two over zero. Rational function or not? Very good. That is not a rational function. Because the numerator is a polynomial, while the denominator is not, because it is equal to zero. Question number three. f of x is equal to square root of x plus eight over x. Rational function or not? Very good. That is not a rational function. Because the expression square root of x plus eight can be expressed into a fractional form which is x plus 8 raised to 1 half, and that is not considered as polynomial. Question number 4. f of x is equal to 2x raised to 4 plus 2x raised to 3 minus x squared plus 1 all over x minus 2. Is it a rational function or not? Very good. That is a rational function because both numerator and denominator shows a polynomials. And for the last question, f of x is equal to 12x raised to 3 plus 9x raised to 2 plus x plus 10 all over square root of 5x plus 1. Is it a rational function or not? Very good. That is not a rational function because the denominator is not a polynomial because it also shows a fractional form which is 5x plus 1 raised to 1 half. You know already which function can be considered as a rational function. Now let us proceed to the representation of rational functions in real life situations. One of the examples is an average speed, and the problem is the distance from General Trias Cavite to Baguio is around 285 kilometers. Construct a function s where s is the speed of travel that describes the time it takes to drive from General Trias Cavite to Baguio. Another test from the given problem is. How long will it take you to get to Baguio if your average speed is 40 km per hour? How about 50 km per hour? You know already how to calculate distance. It has a form of d is equal to the product of s and t. Using the dst triangle to remember the formula for finding the d, which stands for the distance, S stands for the speed and T stands for the time. Since T is the unknown, the formula to be used in the problem is T is equal to D over S. It states under problem that you have to construct a function S. So it should be T of S is equal to T over S. The distance is fixed at 285 kilometers. Therefore, t of s is equal to 285 over s is the function where s is the speed of travel that describes the time it takes to drive from General Trias Cavite to Baguio. For task B, how long will it take you to get to Baguio? If your average speed is 40 km per hour, how about 50 km per hour? The given R 
the distance which is 285 kilometers, the speed which are 40 kilometers per hour and 50 kilometers per hour. The formula to be used using the DST triangle again is T is equal to D over S. Let's have a solution first for the given speed which is 40 kilometers per hour. Substitute to the given formula, we have the distance which is 285 kilometers divided by the speed which is 40 kilometers per hour. So the final answer is T or is equal to 7.125 hours. Next solution is for the 50 kilometers per hour. Substitute to the formula, we have the distance is 285 kilometers and the speed which is 50 kilometers per hour. Cancel the word kilometers from the numerator and the denominator. So the final answer is 5.7 hours. Another representation of a rational function in real life situations is a work problem. The problem is Jenny can paint a room in 8 hours and April can paint the same room in 12 hours. How long will it take the two to paint the room if they will work together? Construct a function t that represents the time to work together. To solve a work problems, keep in mind that if someone can finish a work in 5 hours, then he can finish one-fifth of the total work in an hour. From the given problem, Jenny can finish the work in 8 hours, so she can do one-eighth of the work in an hour. April can finish the work in 12 hours, so she can do one-twelfth of the work in an hour. Jenny and Abigail can finish the work together in t hours, so they can finish 1 over t, which stands for time, portion of the work in an hour. When the work involves two or more persons with different rates of work to finish a job, the equation to be used is amount of work done by a person A plus amount of work done by a person B is equal to the total work done. Therefore, the equation that describes the problem is 1 8 plus 1 12 is equal to 1 over T. Another thing to represent a rational function in real life situation is a number problem. So the problem is the denominator of a fraction is 8 more than the numerator. If 3 is subtracted both the numerator and denominator, the resulting fraction has a value of 3 fourths. What is the equation? So solution for letter A is step 1. Represent the unknown in the problem. So let x be the numerator, x plus 8 be the denominator, and x over x plus 8 be the original function. In step 2, form the equation that describes the problem. In this case, you have to convert the mathematical phrases into mathematical symbol. Let's say for example in the given problem, the denominator of a fraction is 8 more than the numerator. The expression is x over x plus 8. Another mathematical phrase in the given problem is, if 3 is subtracted but the numerator and denominator, the resulting fraction has a value of 3 fourths. So therefore, from the original fraction, which is x over x plus 8, you have to subtract 3, both numerator and denominator. And the resulting, which is the symbol is equals, is 3 fourths. Therefore, the equation that describes the problem is x minus 3 over x plus 8 minus 3 is equal to 3 fourths. Another example for a number problem is 
find two consecutive integers such that the sum of one half of the first and one fifth of the second is 12. Show the equation. So in step one, you represent the unknown in the problem. So for the first integer, you let P, any letter can be used. And for the second integer, you have P plus one. Step two, form the equation that describes the problem. Again, it is also about converting mathematical phrases into mathematical symbols. So, one half of the first integer, our first integer is P, one half of it is one half P. And then, our second integer is P plus one, one fifth of it is one fifth multiplied by p plus 1. Get their sum. The sum, symbol for sum is plus and their sum is 12 and the resulting is 12. Therefore, the, is, the equation that describes the problem is 1 half p plus 1 fifth of p plus 1 is equal to 12.